Hello everyone, welcome to MagLab. So in this video, we are going to see how to build R gate perceptron with the help of Python programming language. So already we developed a AND gate perceptron with the help of Python. So you can check that videos in the disc. Uh, the link will be in description, or you will get the first video in our channel. So let's uh, first see the test cases for the OR gate. So for the OR gate, if uh, we are going to use two input OR gate, so that's why zero zero the will be zero. Zero one is one. One OR zero is one, and one OR one is also one for the OR gate. So we are going to uh, let's suppose uh, take the weights as zero point one, and then zero point something three. Uh, let's take weights as zero point. Uh, Two and then zero point one, so that uh, it's not going to make any issue. I'll quickly replace this weight with zero point two, and let's uh, keep activation function as zero point one. Oh, sorry, threshold. Uh, we are going to use activation function as the step function, and if the uh, summation value is greater than threshold. Then we will get as output as one, and if summation value is less than threshold, then output will be zero. Now let's run means uh, let's assume the test cases and uh, let's see what happen here. Uh, so if you don't know about the summation function, then summation function is sum of a into w zero plus b into w one, and which is going to pass here for the activation function. And if it is greater than threshold, then output will be predicted. Output will be one. Else, the predicted output will be zero. So for the first test case, the inputs are zero zero. That is, a is zero, b is zero. So zero into zero point two plus zero into zero point three is also always zero. So which is less than or equal to threshold. So here output will become as zero. So this test case will obviously pass. For zero one, so zero and one. Zero into zero point two zero plus one into zero point three zero point three, which is greater than zero point one, so output will be as uh, one. And for the test case, so this test case also pass for one zero sim. Uh, for similarly for one zero, the summation function is zero point two, so which is greater than threshold, so output again one. And for the one one, so summation value becomes zero point five, which is greater than threshold, so again output is one. So in that manner, this perceptron is going to work. But assume that uh, if the uh, means uh, suppose that if we put the weight as zero uh, point one or we increase the threshold, uh, let's assume we put uh, weight as zero point one here only. So we will erase it quickly and make it as zero point one. So the second test case is going to fail. Oh, uh, sorry, second, not second. The third test case is going to fail. Where that is one comma zero. So the summation for this test case is one into zero point one is zero point one, and zero into zero point three is uh, means uh, plus means zero point one plus zero uh, zero. So it is zero point one. So summation is zero point one, which is not greater than zero point one. So it is going to give output as zero, but the actual output is one. You can see that. So it is going to generate an error, and as per the fun our function, it is going to update the weights. So let's uh, see it in hands-on in the program. So we are going to reuse our Python program for AND gate perceptron. If you wish to understand it clearly, you can refer our third video or uh, first video. The first video is detailed video, and our Third video is of a quick recap for the Python program. So let's move towards our Python program for OR gate perceptron, which is uh, just few changes in the AND gate perceptron Python program. So this is the Python program for the OR gate perceptron. So uh, you can see that the let's change it here quickly. Zero 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 one 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 zero one and one one one. So this is the activation function. Let's make it correct. Uh, if output is less than threshold, then only it is going to return the one. Uh, our threshold will be zero point one, and this is zero point two and zero point three as per our 
uh, exam which you uh, saw just now in the perceptron diagram so let's uh, understand this code uh, this is the activation function if the summation that is uh, parameter is the output if output is less than means summation is less than threshold then it will return 1 else it is going to return a 0 and here is the actual code so a is the first input b is the second input y is the actual output for the or gate and w's are weights that this is the w0 this is w1 threshold is 0 0.1 learning rate uh, we are keeping 0 0.1 or let's take 0 0.2 it's not matter in this case because the, this is the means working weights for this perceptron so here are some per, uh, means printf statements for better visualization when we run the program so this is the summation function uh, that is a into w0 plus b into w1 which is again going to pass to the activation function with uh, along with threshold which is going to return the predicted output which is stored in o and if predicted output and actual output is not matching then we are going to update our weights if you want to understand this logic behind the updation of weight you can uh, refer our first video that is and get perceptron video so that's it uh, and once the weights are going to update we are resetting our all the test cases so that it will check for all the possible test cases that, that is a four test case so let's run this program So the program is not going to stop because we missed the condition that is uh, here must be greater than some of you might get this point. So now we are going to run again the program this time it is going to run in better way. So you can see that the output is already generated for the test cases which are which we have passed uh, means uh, let's make this as or 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 input then or gate and here also or so that's it let's uh, clean the terminal again and rerun the program so you can see that or gate output for 0 1 is 1 so you can see that here the weights are 0 0.2 0 0.3 threshold is 0 0.1 and the summation is 0 0.0 for test case 0 0 which is less than threshold so output uh, is 0 and for the next case for the 0 1 it is generated uh, uh, summation at 0 0.3 which is greater than threshold so predicted and actual output both are 1 and in that manner all the test cases are successfully passed so or get output for 0 1 is 1 so up to here training is completed and after that we are testing our code so let's make a uh, error just to sake of understanding uh, let's make it at 0 0 and we are going to rerun the program our learning rate is 0 0.2 so you are now you are now get what is the what is uh, learning rate made for so now you can see that this test is obviously going to pass this also passed because uh, we are make change for the w0 which mostly affect for the third and fourth test case so here the 10 and the summation is become 0, 0.0 which is less than threshold so predicted output is 0 and actual output is 1 so it is going to update its weight uh, as per our uh, definition of means uh, conditions and functions uh, that are generated here uh, let's move further uh, so it's now going to update the weights and updated weights are now 0 0.2 and 0 0.3 this is because the learning rate is 0 0.2 uh, then it is going to pass all the test cases let's check uh, by learn changing the learning rate as well as uh, threshold value so threshold value is 0 0.4 which is also greater than the, our second weight let's clear the terminal and rerun the program i'm running this program that much time so that you can understand it in a better manner uh, nothing else you can try it by yourself so first test case is obviously going to pass because uh, both inputs are zero which is uh, means less than the threshold value only second test is is not going to pass because the summation is 0 0.3 which is less than threshold so predicted output is zero as per our condition uh, predicted output is one only if the summation value is greater than the threshold value but here the threshold uh, summation value is not greater than threshold value so it is going to update the weights and 
Uh, now you can see that our learning rate is 0.5 and our previous weight is 0.3 so due to which updated weight becomes 0.8 so it is now going to pass the first and second test case but it is going to fail the third case test case because of this 0.0, .0. so now it is going to update the first weight also and it make the first weight as 0.1 now it is uh, passing all the test cases and the OR gate output for this last test case means our given output is uh, sorry input is again one so let's give the input at zero zero and let's try it for the last time and then we will stop here so now you see that for zero zero or gate output is zero so in this manner the or gate perceptron is working and uh, this is the python program for it if you want to understand the and gate perceptron also uh, which is the detailed video for this program how we are developed this program you can uh, refer our video i will give the link in the description and so thank you for watching this video we will meet in the next video till then you can enjoy our other perceptron videos thank you again